Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually filming at night, so if it looks weird, that is why. I am filming this on Thursday. I normally film, edit, and upload all on the same day, which is normally Friday, but tomorrow I'm going to the park with um, one of my shaman sisters. Long story short, there was a group of us and we stayed connected because of our parents and one of them is here visiting. So that's why I'm filming this video on Thursday and it's gonna go up on Friday. It'll make sense in just a few minutes. So like all of my update videos, I'm gonna tell you what I did on what day, then I'm gonna get into like my feelings and what has changed in my body, kind of like in my opinion, and then we'll get onto the photos. Starting off was Saturday, February 8th and I had an event, so I had to get up pretty early and I was on my feet all day taking photos, setting up our tent, so I was really tired. It was almost like a nine and a half hour shift, which I'm not complaining about, but it was really tiring. So that day I only did the 15 minute workout and I did the abs. I did the abs on every day that I worked out, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pattern. Then Sunday, February 9th, I did the 30 minute workout the ab workout and the arm workout. And I know I just said that really fast, so the B-roll laying over this is not gonna catch up, but you kind of get the pattern. I always wanted to do the ab workout just to really tighten up my core, cause that's like where I struggle probably the most, or it's the back fat, I don't really know. The next day, Monday, February 10th, I did the 45 minute workout, the ab workout, and the waist workout, which is crazy. I could barely get through the waist workout. Then again, I was probably tired because I did the previous two workouts before then, but I really wanted to try it. Also, you'll notice too, my shaman sister in the back, she was eating a roll of Pringles. And I'll get into that a little later, but oh my gosh, guys, I was so tempted. I did have two, it was just so good. I haven't had Pringles and I don't even know how long. So it was really tempting. I wonder, I wonder what the time lapse looks like when she's just like munching away back there. The next day I did not work out because Tuesday and Thursday, Thursday normally I don't work out. So Tuesday I did not work out, took a chill day. Then on Wednesday I went to work, obviously normal. Then I came home and did the 15 minute workout. I did the ab workout and I did the arm workout. I feel like the 15 minute workout is so intense. And like I said before, I could barely get through it. It's really concise and packed into one routine. And then I could do some of the specialized um, targeted routines. Today is Thursday and I did work out because like I said, I am going to the park tomorrow and I know I'm not gonna work out. So I just kind of flip flopped the days. So I worked out tonight, then I'm not gonna work out tomorrow. I'm gonna get some exercise because I am going to be walking and everything so that's a little something you know so tonight I did the 30 minute workout plus the ab workout and that was my week of workouts moving on into the updates I have quite a few of them just because I don't know week three it was hard but it was also like easier at the same time I wanted to start off by saying I was featured in one of Chloe Ting's videos holy cow I can't believe that I was just watching one of her transformation videos and there I am you know belly out and all I was looking crazy because I was week one guys I was just kind of in shock and her reaction I'm like oh my god she's probably like totally judging me but at least I'm doing something so that was so cool and Chloe if you ever watch this video thank you so much for putting me in your video it means a lot because you are like body goals and an inspiration and you keep me motivated to do it the next point I wanted to talk about is eating in moderation so like I said I I can never really give up some certain foods, you know, like the chips and the pretzels and the Cheez-Its. So what I've been doing after I have a meal, maybe one of my Fit Life Foods meals or a salad and turkey, I will have probably like five pretzels or like one cookie just to give myself some relief so it's not totally cutting it out but i'm just eating in moderation so i'm just having a little taste so i'm not just totally craving it like when my shaman sister was here she had the pringles i had a couple because there's no way i could just like not have one you know definitely encourage if some of you guys are struggling out there just eat a little and then put it away. So normally on Wednesday, I do have my Cheez-It snack at work, but instead I went the pita chip route. So I just wanted to say that to bribe myself to work out after I get home from work, I get a little snack 
at the little vending area. And today I got Funyuns. I didn't realize there wasn't as many carbs as I thought in there. So I was like, since I'm working out when I get home and it was a work day, I'm gonna eat the Funyuns. They were so good, guys. So good. I'm gonna mention this when I show the photos for the people who skip over this part. Literally tomorrow or the next day, I'm supposed to start my lady days. So I'm really bloated, so I don't, I feel less bloated and in my body, but I don't think it looks like it on camera or in the photos, so I'm just gonna be completely honest. Speaking about changes in my body, my bras that I just ordered, I think you guys know about it if you follow my vlogs and everything. I did a haul video? I don't know, it was towards the beginning of the year. I got these bras, okay? Beautiful, brand new bras from Victoria's Secret, so comfortable. And like, the waistband here, like around this area, obviously is where the bra is. And I got a size up because I was getting bigger, but now it's starting to get loose. Not this bra, I'm just showing you guys like where it is. It's starting to get loose, so it's like a blessing in disguise. And I'm really mad about it because I had it on the tightest setting, I think, today, and it was still like really loose. It just doesn't bind to this area, my rib area as well. So it's a little loose and I still have the back fold, but the back fat is getting smaller, so that's probably why. But I just wanted to update you guys about the bra situation. I'm so mad. I'm probably gonna still wear them because I spent a lot of money on those. I probably didn't think that I was gonna start a health journey and all that. The next little thing I wanted to talk about is motivation and what keeps me motivated is taking photos. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see my little like boomerangs or photos with a little kick-ass thing or just like a little gif or something. And that just keeps me motivated because I can see results. I can see how good I look. I can feel myself in the camera and just, I don't know. It's just really encouraging to me and that's what kind of helps me. So after I do a workout or something, I'm like, photo shoot, you know, like, let's go into my mirror and take some cute pics. And then uh, it just motivates me even more. Like, okay, let's do this tomorrow. That's kind of my mindset when it comes to that. So if you guys are having trouble, like staying motivated, work out and then like throw yourself a big photo shoot. And lastly, as I've been talking about, I sometimes am still a little hungry after I eat my meal. Um, it's actually getting less, which this will probably be in the next update because it's, I'm fully not there yet. And with my New York trip coming up, I know this is definitely not. But the portions, they're getting a little bit easier, but not that easy. So I still am a little hungry, so I've been drinking these Adkin shakes. Normally I have three-fourths of one because my mom has one-fourth of one. So we kind of share it and they're so good. I drink the mocha latte. It's just chocolatey with a little kick of like coffee, but I don't even like coffee, so you, you don't necessarily need to like coffee to drink it, but it's so good, guys. There's just a little bit of carbs in it, so it's not that fattening per se. They're kind of like meal replacement shakes, which isn't good, but it's okay to, you know, have it after a nutritious meal and stuff. So at least that's in my opinion. So it's really helped me with my self-control because after I finished drinking it or drinking part of it, I'm like, okay, I'm satisfied now and it's something a little sweet. I recommend you try those if you're looking for something like that. They also have different flavors, like Valerie loves vanilla. Now, moving on to what you guys have been waiting for. These are the photos. So on the left is last week and on the right is current. Thursday, not Friday because I'm filming this a little early, but I just swapped the days as you guys heard previously. Don't know why I'm saying it again. This is the front view and this is the side view. And like I said earlier, I am pretty bloated because I'm gonna start my period anytime now. I'm just not feeling it. It's probably doesn't really show. It's all right. No judgment here or you can totally judge this because you're watching this, but you know, it's just how I look, being honest. And these are the photos before I started working out till now. So on the left is pre-workout Alex. The photo on the right is now. And then again, this is just a side view so you guys can see. I definitely see it. 
I definitely feel it. My upper fat roll is getting smaller and I don't know, I just feel so strong. So those are the photos. Overall, I still could work on my endurance, but it is getting better. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. I love doing these to just be honest and show you guys my journey. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.